right now I am looking for my ride, Albert, who I met last time I was here. And here he is. My guy, Albert. What's up, man? How are you? <laughs> Did you wait long? Yeah, last night. <laughs> here he is, guys, Albert. This Hi. is the best driver in all of Palawan. <laughs> you came last night? Yeah. Did you wait a long time last night? Nice, nice day. Oh, yeah? I'm so sorry. Good morning from Puerto Princesa, ladies and gents. We finally made it. So I was scheduled to arrive here uh, yesterday. Actually caught a flight from Manila to Puerto Princesa. We arrived in Puerto Princesa, but we never landed due to strong winds. We ended up turning back and going back to Manila where I spent the night. Uh, long story short, we got the flight rebooked for today and here we are. I'm here with Albert. You guys may remember Albert from the last time I was here. So what am I doing back in the Philippines? Well, I'm here to check out a potential business venture with a friend that I met here last time that I will tell you guys about a little bit later in this video. For now, let's get back to the hotel. Let me take this sweater off because it is scorching hot out here. And uh, yeah. All right, perfect. Use this one, just this one, okay, okay, no problem. And your key. Okay. You guys have Wi-Fi at all? Yes, oh, perfect. And you have a rooftop if you want fresh air. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, so here's my palace for the night. Uh, nothing fancy. This is how I roll. Basic necessities. That's interesting. We got a chair here at the sink. Yeah, uh, bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. Shower. And voila! All right, let me uh, freshen up, and then I am starving. Gonna go get something to eat. What up, what up, guys? We are still out here in Puerto Princesa. It is currently nighttime. We're at the boardwalk right now, and they have a, um, a night market that happens out here. I think every single night, a lot of food vendors out here. It's pretty lively. So we're gonna walk around and see if there's anything we can get into. All right, looks like there's like a swap meet of some sort and looks really interesting. So I'm gonna walk in here and check it out. All right, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Recreation center. What does that mean? Well, real quick, because my house was burned from the fire. Oh, there was a fire. I heard about that. All of them told about fire. So most of the people here are people who lost their homes in the fire? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's unfortunate. When did this happen? When did the fire happen? One seven. February seven. February seven. This is recent. So you're sleeping here right now. Yeah. For how long? I think two months. I think I think two months. Wow, so what I thought was a swap meet, and this is gonna sound uh, pretty embarrassing to even say this, but I thought it was a swap meet, but it was actually an evacuation center. I wanted to take the camera in there, but as soon as I walked in, I knew something was up. Uh, there was like families eating dinner and sleeping there, so I could tell something was a little off as soon as I walked in. I could tell it wasn't a swap meet, and uh, a lady um, was nice enough to greet me and, and kind of told me a little bit about it, so yeah um glad i didn't walk around with my camera and just started like being an asshole so what are you selling just egg balut, balut. you want to try is it delicious delicious i'm scared <laughs> why are you scared i had these a long time ago and it, it didn't work out really well but i think i should try it again i'm in the philippines so how much you sell one for uh, 30. what is it 30 30 each 30 each I'll try one. Yeah, I'll try one. You, will you guide me through it? Show me how to do it? Yes. All right, awesome. All right. What's your name, ma'am? Gistoni. What is it? Gistoni. Gistoni. I'm Cedric. 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 But nice. it's spelled like Cedric. You choose one. Well, which one do you think I should get? Uh, I think this one. That's the one? I can. What are you looking for when you do that? You the top? Yeah. You crack this. Okay. Alright, so crack this. 
just like that. Peel it. Can you hold this for me? You want to be the cameraman? Yeah. All right. Is it filming? Yes. All right. So go in here, peel this. All right, this is the moment I've been avoiding, but the time has come. So the last time I ate a balut, uh, it was not an experience to remember, but I'm in the Philippines, so when in Rome. And this is duck or chicken? Duck. This is duck. Okay, that's enough. That's enough? All right. And then I put some of this on here, yes. and then just bite it. That's it. And what is this? Vinegar. Hot. Oh, just vinegar. Hot vinegar. Hot vinegar. So where's the where's the the duck? Inside. Inside. Yeah. Little chicken. I don't want to look, do I? <laughs> oh my. What do you think? Why? Delicious or not? Wow! Strong! Strong! Oh my god! Woo! Wow, that's rough! Do it rough. more, do it more! Huh? Eat more? Eat more! Oh, shit! Wow! So these are a little different than the, one I've, the ones I've had before. Can you actually see the, the, the duck inside or no? No. You can't see it, right? It's, it's still like too young? Yum. All right, here we go. Round two. Go get him, go get him. Oh, man. You wash. I have a water. Mm. All right, one time only. Thank you. One more? <laughs> no, I do not want one. That was really rough. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Okay, holy shit. That was worse than what I remember it to be. Because the ones that we eat, you actually see the duck. Or the ones that Hmong people eat. Or the, I don't know, man. The one I'm accustomed to, you see the duck in it. It seems like very premature. It was very squishy. You know, super strong. I don't know how people eat that. Woo! But I did it. Which one should I try? This pork. looks... Pork, the pork is good? Yeah. This one looks really good, too. Is this good? Yeah. Everything is good. You this is the ear. That's the ear. Intestine. Feet, head. That's the pork. You said I should try this one? All right. Could I try a pork and then uh, one of these, the intestine? Thank you so much. One each. Yes. So here we have pork and intestine. Chicken intestine. Oh, these are chicken intestine. Yes, sir. What kind of sauce is this here? Uh, the marination of the pork, sir. Do you know adobo, sir? What is it? Filipino adobo. Yes. Do you know it? Yes. Uh, my marination is like Filipino adobo style. Okay. But it's more saucy. Okay. I put more water than the traditional adobo. Okay. And it's a little sweet. Best in town? I think so. <laughs> I believe you. Thank you. Wow, ah, look at this beauty. That is really good. Much better than the balut. <laughs> Super good. Mm. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, let's try the chicken intestines. What up, man? Wow. Super good. Again, much better than a balloon. Holy shit, that balloon was terrible. This, on the other hand, so good. How are you? Can I get a um, one small avocado and 
One small mango. With my fidel. Uh, what's better? With milk. Okay. Let's do it with milk then. They are 20 each. 40 pesos. 40 pesos. Thank you. I'm all set. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do you want mango or uh, avocado? Mango, mango for you, sir. Straw for you, sir. All right. Albert, I tried balut. How you eat the balut? Oh my God, bro, it was rough. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that again. How many? I just had one. one. You want one? One. Do you want one? You sure? Avocado smoothie. Let's give it a shot. Mm. So this is avocado. Um, I guess like a shake. She asked me if I wanted milk or or not. Said it was better with milk, and just kind of resembles a sweet avocado shake. Which part should we get? Belly you order. Belly. Whichever is better. The belly. Yes. Okay. But not crunchy. It's okay for you. It's not crunchy. This one is uh, crunchy. Oh, the head. Yes. yes. No, that's fine. Let's do the belly. 490, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Chop? Please. <laughs> All right. We got our lechon. <laughs> Alright Albert. Okay sir. It was good to see uh, you. I will catch you okay. when I get back. Take care. Stay out of trouble. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then if I, if I come back Sunday, we'll go to Tiki Bar. I'm uh, excited. I, I said my daughter so said you have a meet. Just um, I'll be happy Monday to meet. Her. I'd be happy to meet her. Yeah. All right. We'll try Thank to do that sir. on Sunday. Okay. All right Albert. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you sir. Bye. All right. Back at the hotel. Uh, what a long day. I gotta get to bed. I gotta get up super early tomorrow. We're hitting the road at 3 a.m. to go to this gem of a place, one of the most beautiful places in all of Palawan. Find out more tomorrow. Peace, good night, I'm out. Let's go. Bright and early this morning, it is 3 a.m. A gentleman picked me up in the Duke 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 behind me. And uh, I think our van is picking us here, picking us up here, gonna meet up with William, and then we are off to Balabak, which is about a six hour drive. Good morning, how are you doing? Cedric? William. You William, okay, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Going to Bal Balabak? Yes, going All to Balabak. Right, Your perfect. Uh, name is Cedric? Lee. That's it, yes, that's me. Should I put these in the back? Or inside here? In here? Wow, fancy lights. Here's what we're working with. We got ourselves some fried eggs, a nice little hot dog thingy majiggy. We got some rice, beef soup. William got the William got eggs and beef. Bro, how do you eat these? They're so small. This a uh, chili hut. Yeah, but you just eat it like that? Like chili spice. No, you have to put in the soup. Oh, I see, I see. Do it for the gram. Oh, that's a big one. Hold on, it's a smaller <laughs> one. Look at these little guys. Oh, maybe, maybe this one. Way more tiny. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so <laughs> small. All right. <laughs> Dude, that's hot. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, so that whole meal you just saw us have cost us about $153. Three dollars for two of us. For two of us. Crazy cheap. That's even cheap for Filipino standards. Ladies and gents, this is the reason I came all the way out here in the Philippines. Wow, dude.
Philippines. Here we are. This is the reason I came out here to the Philippines. So I'm in a place called Palawan. It's on the southern part of Palawan. The last time I was here in the Philippines, I met a tour guide. We stayed in contact. His name is William. He's a gentleman I've been spending the day with. William told me about Balabak the last time I was here. It's a place that uh, has recently become very popular with the tourists. It was pretty much cut off from the world for an extended period of time for safety reasons. There was you no know, uh, terrorism, piracy going on here, malaria at one time. It opened up about... I don't know, I, want, I don't want to speak out of turn, but I want to say like 2014 really, really started becoming popular in 2019. And then COVID happened. Uh, shut down for a couple of years. And when tourism, what is old crap, these fuckers are fast. When tourism reopened, Balabak really started gaining popularity with the tourists. There is high demand, but there is no infrastructure out here. They're often running out of tour boats, running out of places to stay. So, uh, William reached out to me and we talked and um, I can't tell you exactly what we're working on and I don't like talking before things actually happen, but this is part of the process. This is the reason why I'm here. You know, sometimes things happen and sometimes they don't, but uh, it's always worth looking into if it feels right. So here I am, you know, we've been talking for a while. It was time for me to come out here, check it out for myself, really get a feel for the place try to understand how this place works and uh, from there we'll see what we can do. So here's what makes Balabak a, a very unique experience. Because it's so undeveloped, you are one with nature when you're out here. A lot of the stays out here are going to be glamping or even camping, which is what we're probably going to be doing tonight. And then the electricity is very limited, so this isn't for everybody. Um, you know, you kind of have to know what to expect when you're coming out here to Balabak. And this is it. You're looking at it. But look at these structures, so dope. And you, you know, they're like throughout the island. All right, so the cool part is, if you wanna be out in the sun, you come out here on the outside, you got the beach. And then when you wanna cool off, get some shade, you come in here, in like this, this like tree jungle type looking place. All right, our room is finally ready. We got in this morning, all the tents were occupied, but they managed to get one free. So we are gonna occupy that now. Will and I are gonna shack up. Oh, wow, dude, it's a better view out of here. Jesus. Glamping two. Dude, those are huge. I was looking for that. So one fell on me earlier in the hammock. Look how big this guy is, the size of my toe. <laughs> look at this. this look, look, just for reference. This is my finger. This is my finger. He's literally the size of my index finger. Huge. We'll leave our shoes out here. So what we do here is we clean off our feet. Yeah. And let's go inside and check it out. Let's go. Bam! Welcome home. Look, there's uh, Will's stripper pole. Do the dance, <laughs> do the dance, Will. Oh, bro, do the dance. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got some nice little lounge chairs right here. Which fun. We got some fans. We even got power so I can charge the drone. Oh, we're gonna have a nice sleep tonight. I mean, it looks a little grimy from the outside, so I didn't expect this on the inside, but this is nice and clean. It smells good. I dig it. So the sun has finally set, first night in Balabak. Tomorrow, we're gonna go venture a little bit. William is gonna see if he can get to uh, visit one of the schools there, visit with the students. I think that'd be really fun, really interesting. Other than that, it's about to get dark. Probably gonna hang out, have a couple of brewskis, and uh, call it a night. See you guys in the morning. Goodbye, Patawan. It's been great. That was actually one of the best nights of sleep. Give me five. Thank you. Give me five. Give me five. I like your foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a family here that's uh, harvesting the seaweed. Yeah, um, uh, working to tie the seaweeds on the roof. This place is absolutely amazing. I can't stress that enough. You know, Balabak was considered a hidden gem at one point. What is it? Rabbit fish. Rabbit fish. Never heard of it. Oh. Uh, 
Wow, guys, look at all these coconuts. All right, so this gentleman just offered us some coconuts and he's gonna get us fresh coconuts from out of the tree using this big, tall bamboo stick. For you, sir. Delicious. Tastes like coconut. William just adopted a dog, yo. Yeah. That's crazy. Are you serious? Yes. Then you're gonna take him home today? Yeah. Wow. And sometimes it comes pouring down. My tent is completely soaked. We just wrapped it with a uh, with a tarp. The only way to keep it dry, I'm trying to zip it up. Ugh, it's just full of sand, so it's really hard to zip up. It's stuck in a zipper. No, no. Oh, bring it. No, bring it. 